They look like poison to me. If I was looking for a game, I'd pick on somebody else. I think you're right. Run down to Jake and see if he can change that. Drinks on the house. Thank you. Why don't you play the nine of diamonds on the tennis base? I take it that you understand all the rules and regulations pertaining to the pace boards, huh? A little. I ain't bragging any. Well, uh, how about a little game? Don't mind if I do. How about you, stranger? Well, I might. Table stakes? Cut. Where I come from, we draw for deal first. Give me the cards. There's something missing. Let's have it. Keep coming, friend. Why, well, you card shuffling, give me that deck. Now, you give me that last remaining cardboard, partner. That's all I got, honest, mister. Put that card back in the deck, you long-legged horn. Boat. Your manner of speech is objectionable, friend. Anyone suggests there's horn toads in my family is input. What's up, Liz? About a half a dozen rangers riding into town. Looks like they're in a big hurry to get to work. It's all the same to you, mister. I'd sure like to be getting out of here. Me too. Everybody reach. Get over there. I guess that all night ride shook him, boys. You mind telling me why everybody is so anxious to shake the law? Well, I don't know about you, but I got reasons of my own, and I'm not telling you. You got a match? Yeah. Say that gun of yours has got a lot of notches on it. Could be a lot more. Except the first class gunslinger down in Arizona don't keep score on engines. <laughs> that ain't the way I heard it. Are you aiming to call me a liar? Or no, 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 no. Hold it, hold it, gents. There's only one way to settle an argument like this. Come here. You see those clothespins on that line over there? Yeah. Well, Colonel, you take the first three. Lucky you take the three in the middle. And I'll take the three that's left. We're going to shoot one at a time or all together? All together. Can you see that far, Colonel? I'm just about to cut you down to my side, bud. <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. Are you ready? One, two, three. What are you little boys trying to do, show off? Don't you know you're too young to play with real six guns? Just look what you did to my clothes. We're mighty sorry, miss. I guess you don't know what it's like to do the family washing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Well, you're going to find out right now, all of you. <laughs> Me too? Yes, you. And you too, prune face. Yes, ma'am. Follow me. You know, Lucky, 
That reminds me of the good old days in St. Louis. I remember... Oh, pardon me, madam. All right, get busy. Oh, no, you're not going to get off as easy as that. Here, I'll show you how that should be done. Now, do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's all yours. Your side of the line's all right. You're excused. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry I can't stick around and help you girls, but I've got an appointment in town. Hope I see you again soon. Next wash day, maybe. Are you sure they're going to be here this afternoon? That's what they said. But you know how dependable men like that are. Well, I'm a busy man. I can't wait around here all day. Which one of you jets is the sheriff? I am. What can I do for you? Well, I guess I'm the man you're looking for. Out in the Indian country, they call me Lucky. Mighty glad to know you, Lucky. This is Mr. Morgan, Jim Morgan. Hi. Well, oh, I'm sorry to be late, gentlemen. Back up, Colonel, and close the door. These men and me have a little private gibble-gabble. I didn't intend to intrude on any private business. And neither will I have any fellow telling me to back up, unless he says it right pretty like. Gentlemen, please, 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 let's not quarrel among ourselves. After all, you were both brought here for the same purpose. Uh, you, I take it, are the Colonel? You are correct. I'm Jim Morgan. Mm -hmm. I brought you, well, as to say, the Sheriff brought you both here to arrange a little matter with the help of the Shamrock Kid. Shamrock, Shamrock Kid? kid. Howdy, boys. What took you so long? I take it you all know each other? Well, kind of. We, uh, we repaired a washout together. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, pass out those bandages, right. please. You mean you're going to hook those stars on us? Just a technicality, Colonel. Keeps the law on your side. Now you can shoot, no questions will be asked. And where did you get that ace of hearts, pray tell? The same place you got this ace of spades, Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> and for that, you promised to pay us $1,000, right? Yes, sir. Each of you gentlemen gets $1,000 when the last homesteader is on his way out. Right? For $1,000, anybody's right. Well, that just about makes it unanimous. I feel the need of a little refreshment. How about you boys? Deal me in. If there's any way to get word to Bob, you better have him hurry back. Then you really think there'll be trouble? It looks like that. But the survey was made and we all filed a legal claim. I don't see how he can possibly do anything about it. Just got word today that the survey was rejected, which means we're squatting on land we haven't filed on. Jim Morgan saw to that. I don't know when I can reach Bob. Do you expect trouble very soon? That all depends on how soon Morgan forces our hand. Well, I gotta get back. If anything new develops, I'll let you know. Goodbye. All right. Bye. like Loco Joe and his boy. <laughs> and who, pray tell, is Loco Joe? He's just about the honoriest lead slinger of this part of Texas. And that makes him pretty honorary. They don't come any tougher than they do from Texas. And how do you know? Because I'm from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> you better give him a buddy and give us 
plenty of elbow room. All right, barkeep, start pouring. Don't break out in a sweat, Sonny. I won't hurt you. Mm-hmm. Smells good. I think you're a mighty good judge of liquor, partner. Mind if I have a drink out of your bottle? We'll just make it 11 cups, so to speak. Here's to your health, Sonny. Plenty of time left for drinking, boys. How about amusing yourself in a game of cards? What'll it be, Joe? Start our draw. Whatever you say, Pete. I'm in a happy mood today. Not at all, too. How about you? No, thanks. How about you, stranger? Care to join me in a friendly game? Much obliged. I don't know too much about that sort of pastime. Is that a fact? You must have been brung up sort of careless. Oh, I don't know. The whole family couldn't read or write, let alone tell one card from another. Now, that's downright heartbreaking. I'll tell you what I'll do, mister. I'll teach you the game, and I won't ask for a cent. More than what I happen to win. Say, that's mighty nice of you. Hey, Charlie, bring us a fresh deck of cards. Just a minute, Joe. Now, you know the house rules. Anybody playing poker leaves their hardware at the bar. Oh, it's a pleasure, Charlie. All right, boys, check in your gun. Come on, stranger. You'll get your gun back after the game's over. Well, I don't see what shooting irons has got to do with playing poker. Well, just in case the gun goes off while you're playing, it kind of takes your mind off the game. Well, all right. As long as you don't feel embarrassed about being without him. Here's another one, Charlie. Well, uh, how do you like that? I plum forgot about that one. You know, this is an open game. Nobody's barred. You sure you won't change your mind? I got some business to attend to. All right, cowboy, out you go. How about you, Grand Ball? Would you like to join us? You just talked me into it. In the other man's territory, it's always safer to have a full deck. Good luck. Here you are, Charlie. Take care of this. Do we split? Or do I have to watch you? We split. Well, what do you have, stranger? Is the barber around? Well, that's me. I'm the barber. <laughs> I kind of like a shave. All right. You know, everything seems to happen at once. Just when I get a horse to shoe, somebody wants a shave. You sit right there a minute. I'll get some hot water out on the forge. <laughs> Say, uh, didn't I hear some place where the dealer's supposed to cut before we deal? Are you sure you never played before? Oh, I'm sure, all right. Just that I used to watch him play when I was a kid. Well, I was just trying to save time, but I guess the rule's a rule. Say, a uh, ace is the same as a one, isn't it? The ace is the highest card in the deck. You boys are going to have to just bear with me. It won't take me long to learn. Say, uh, didn't I hear some place where the dealer's supposed to throw in a chip first? That's right. The dealer had his one red chip. Maybe you know the girl. She stands about 10 hands high and weighs about 110 on the hoof. Her eyes are blue, shaded off in the direction of green. You know who she is? Well, maybe you do and maybe you don't. You know, the feller does business in Cactus Junction. It's better if he don't know any more than he has to, or he's liable to find himself on one side or the other. I should raise you, but you're too doggone lucky. I'll just call you. What have you got? Well, I... 
I reckon I got two pair. I knew I should have raised you. I got three tens. Now, just a minute, mister. The boy miscalled his hand. You better look at them cards. Well, that's four of a kind. Do I win? You sure I do. Hold on, stranger. Around here, we play them like we call them. You call two pair, and two pair she stays. Now, where I come from, the cards are the ones that count. If you got different rules, you should have told us. When you're in this town, Grandpa, you play like I say. Not according to Hoyle. Did you say Hoyle, stranger? Well, uh, yes, sir. It does sound familiar. I must have heard that name someplace before, huh? Yeah. A man that knows all about Hoyle should know a lot more than he lets on. All right, so I've played poker before. Oh, I was afraid of that. Hey, wait a minute. You forgot to play me. I'm Deputy Sheriff in this backyard of desolation. There's going to be peace and quiet. Hurry it up. Grab your hardware, boys. It's about time we tried out those badges the Sheriff gave us. We're going to lock this bad man up before he hurts somebody with those loud words he uses. Go on. I know, Shamrock, but let me explain. You said you wanted to show folks who was boss around here, so we showed them. When I made you boys my deputies, I was only... You take over from here, Sheriff. They're all yours. You boys see to it that they don't pull any fast ones on our friend, the Sheriff. I've got a little business to attend to. In you go, you Get line in there. <laughs> you again. You might as well come in. Much obliged, ma'am. I, uh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I was just doing some mending. Well, won't you sit down? Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, you're coming, darling. Excuse me a moment, please. There's somebody at the door, ma'am. Well, see who it is. I'll be right there. Come right on in, mister. Howdy. Howdy. Oh, hello, Deacon. How are you? Howdy, ma'am. Say, uh... Uh, could I have a few words with you, sort of, private-like? Oh, of course. Uh, would you mind holding the baby for a minute? Shh. Don't tell me trouble has started already, Deacon. Us homesteaders are having a meeting at my place. We think you ought to be there, too. Well, I don't know. There's the baby. Is it really important? It's awful important. 
All right, I think I can manage. I'll saddle up for you. I'll be right out. Something important has come up. I'll have to go out for a while. Would you mind looking after the baby? I won't be long. But, 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 but ma'am, what do I do? Listen to him. He, he sounds like he's in terrible trouble. I should be back by five o'clock, but if I'm not, give him his dinner. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, be sure that milk is warm to body heat. Quiet down, quiet down. You have to cry all the time? Rock a bye, baby. I thought that was his horse. What's all that screeching going on in there? Sounds like a sick cat. Sounds like he didn't torture to me. They can't do that to Shamrock. Well, I'll be dipped in pickle juice. Shamrock's gone out and got himself a new start. Hey, now, now hold on, boys. This ain't my kid. I'm just mining him for his maw. You'd better get your mining back to where it belongs. We got work to do. I know it, but I can't leave the kid here alone. Where's his pappy? I wouldn't know. Say, what ails that critter anyhow? Maybe he wants his chow. His ma said not to put the feed bag on him until about 5 o'clock. It ain't that time yet. I know. You know, you gotta take your mind off what you're yeah. thinking about, you know? Here, take a card, any card. What are you trying to do, scare the pants off of him? Hey, I got an idea. Hang on to the kid, will you? See, baby? See the shiny winny gunsy onesie, huh? Boy, that little son of a gun's a natural born lead slinger. Give it to him, see what he does. Well, I'll be a significant. You know, he looks just like Billy the Kid when he's blowing smoke out of his gun after he shot Lem Hunter. <laughs> hey, it's feeding time. I'll be back in a minute. You know, Colonel, you make a lovely mother. It's a good thing that I wasn't your mother, or you'd never live to the age you are today. Hmm. Hey, give me the kit. Oh, huh? you got to test it first. That's right. For warmth, you know. <laughs> I swear to <laughs> The 
point is, Miss Ange, if Morgan's gunmen start anything, they'll most likely head for your brother's homestead first, it being closer to town. Well, what would they do? Well, what they're supposed to do is try to drive you off and take possession. You see, this last survey Morgan ran robbed your brother of all rights to his place. Naturally, they try to give the rest of us the same medicine. That's why we're here, to band together to do something before they get the jump on us. Would you please get to the point? Just what am I to do? Well, what we'd like is uh, permission to barricade ourselves in your house. But what about the baby? Well, in a way, it would be the same as protecting your brother's rights. We don't aim to lose our land without putting up a show. How about it? All right. Don't worry, Miss Ann. I'm sure if your brother were here, it's what he'd do. I heard in town Bradley swaying in a whole force of new deputies. You know any of them? Nope. There was three strangers rode into town this afternoon. Folks say they're plenty tough, too. First thing they did was pick a fight with Loco Joe, threw him and two of his pals in the lockup. And you ain't got no idea who they are? No, nobody's ever seen them around this part of Texas before. But there ain't no doubt about it. They're professional gunmen, all right. Probably make killing their business. Good thing for you, Sheriff, that we wouldn't board it here for the night. Save the tough talk for where it'll do the most good, Joe. Mr. Morgan, here's got a little business deal you'd like to discuss. The Sheriff had three deputies brought in this morning to do a job for us. We don't know what happened to them, and right about now, we don't care. All we want to know is, do you boys want to take their places? We might. What's it worth? My deal with them was a thousand. Double the and we'll take it. All right. We've got no time to argue. Sheriff, get their guns. Right. When do we start? Right now. Before we start working, I like to see the cash. It's in my safe at the ranch, and you'll get paid off at the end of the job. Sheriff, tell them what to do. Well, there won't be too much risk of this job if you'll only just... Save your best, Sheriff. You're just confusing the issue. All right, Morgan. Pick up that pen and start writing. Go on, pick it up. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Sheriff. Now start writing the combination of that safe. And write it big and clear. So I won't have to go home to get my specs. I hope for your sake, Morgan, that there ain't no mistakes on this paper. All right, boys, lock them up. him up. He'll stop the game. His little old trigger finger isn't strong enough to fire that cannon, yet. Would you help me take him into the bedroom while he's still asleep? I'd be glad to.
Why they let him out of the crazy house, I'll never know. First, he's got his shooting clothespins, and now he lets the midget lift his gun. Come on. We've been hanging around this Hogan long enough. Let's get back to town. Put up your hands. Hurry. Put them up or I'll shoot. I mean it. Well, but miss... Don't I... you dare make a move. Put up your hands, I said. Now, put your guns on that table. Put them on the table. Now, get over to that wall. That's the thanks for get to play a nursemaid to that big. That means you too, big feet. Get over there. That's far enough. Now reach down and pull out that bolt. Who, oh, me? Yes, you. Now pull back the sideboard. You first, prune face. Now you, Big Feet. Now you. In case I forgot to mention it, my name happens to be Shamrock. You get down into that cellar this very minute. Well, at least you ought to tell us what it's all about. I'm going to count to three. If you're not down, all I... All right, all right. Maybe you're awfully tough, like most professional killers. Just a minute, ma'am. I think we can... You can scare the daylights out of Loco Joe, but we homesteaders don't scare as easily as that. You're going to stay down there until the homesteaders come. Horses, eh, Pete? I think I've seen them someplace before. Here come the homesteaders now. If they string you up, it'll serve you good and proper. Oh, who are you? What do you want? Step in there and tell them men to come out. Then move your stuff out of the line of fire. Men? What men are you talking about? Don't get foxy with me, sister. Now I wonder who she's after. Probably just signaling her friends. Come in. Where are they? I don't know. It ain't healthy to lie to Loco Joe. Loco Joe? The sheriff hired us to do a little job. Tim Bird forgot to do. Now I'm asking you one more time. Where are they? They, uh, they've gone. Oh, they have, have they? And forgot to take their guns and horses? They're here all right, boys. Keep an eye on the girl. I'm going to have a look around. Can you see anything, Colonel? Not a thing. Here, I got a good trick. Yeah? Take a card. What is it? Ace of clubs. That's right. Take a look at this. 
Them bad boys have got themselves a partner. Well, look at that. Coochie, 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 coo. Coochie, hello, baby. Is he a cute one? Coochie. Next to a fast running horse, that's just about the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hello. Hello. Just look at Hello. that bad man. A two gun lead slinger if I ever seen one. <laughs> Hello, little baby. Poo -poo 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 -poo. Coochie, coochie. Hello, baby. <laughs> Loco Joe and two of his gang are in the bedroom. Look, you ride over to the deacon's place for help. It's two miles up the road. Let the colonel and me blast them out of there. The baby's in there. I'll ride over to the deacon's place like you said. Maybe they'll follow me. You two get on back down there with the lady. Hey, Joe, that gal's pulling fast when that door's locked. Come on, open up that door. Open up. still here someplace, and we're staying till we find them. I think they might be down there. Looks like the rats are in a trap, huh? Well, that's it, eh? Take care of them.
boys, if he don't show up. Loco Joe's got a woman and a couple of hombres cornered in that first ranch down the road. Yeah? Loco Joe's in jail. You mean he was? That's the Shamrock Kid, one of Morgan's killers. Oh, now, wait a minute. I don't have anything to do with Morgan. Listen, boys, we'll have to hurry or that Don't gun... you believe him. This is one of Morgan's tricks. I'm telling you the truth. We'll show Morgan what we do with hard gunmen. Boys, get his gun. <laughs> to do. It's a trick. We'll take the kid with us. He likes guns. Maybe he'll turn out to be Loco Joe the second. They're taking the baby. Don't you believe it. Just one more chance to come out of there.
There go the rest of That'll tell you who I am. What pocket? Stay where you are, I'll drill you. Got a pal, get a little help around here? I sure thought that loco Joe got you for good. That big sissy loco Joe. You mean get me? Are you kidding? Well, why didn't you tell us you were a Colorado Ranger? I couldn't until I got to the bottom of this. Did the Ranger send you here? Not exactly. My job was to get an ordinary joker who called himself the Shamrock Kid. I got him, and then I found a letter on him which showed that, that he had been hired by the local sheriff to do some dirty work. So I came on in and took his job to see what was up. Who was he? A Colorado Ranger. Well, I've been deceived. I thought I was the only Ranger signed to this detail. You too? Well, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your husband's going to have to mend some of this furniture. Husband? I haven't any husband. Huh? Dead? I never had a husband. The baby belongs to my brother. He and his wife are visiting in Denver, so I'm taking care of him. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing. I never thought of that. Well, I guess I'd better be moving on. Yes, I suppose you must. I got a long ride. Yes, I, I suppose it is a long ride. You know, I've been thinking. I, 
I might get myself assigned to this territory if... if I... Yes? Well, I... I mean, if... if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. 